So to get rid of your title and sidebar, just click on edit page. Then we can scroll down and under content layout, we can choose 100% full width. And on the left, click title and choose disable. Once we do that, we can scroll up and press update. Then click edit with Elementor. For this page, what we want to do is add a map, maybe a contact form, some contact information, and a picture. So let's first add the map. Just click on add new section. And we're going to choose one column and scroll down a little bit and drag over a Google Maps. Drop it right in there. And on the left side, we can change the address. So change this to whatever your business address is. And now we can see that there's gaps on the left side right here and on the right side and at the top. So how do we get rid of all of that? Just click on the column settings and under content width, choose full width and under column gaps, choose no gap. And that should make it good on the left side and right side. But what about this top space right here? Well, this top space only shows up when we're editing. So it's not going to show up on our actual website. So you don't need to worry about that. All right, let's go ahead and add new section and let's choose two columns with the left column being much bigger. All right, now we can add another element. So just click on that button and drag in a text editor. All right, we can highlight all the text and delete it and just put in our email and highlight email and we can bold it. And if we go to the end of the line right here and press enter, it'll give us a big gap. But if we hold shift and then press enter, it will go right under it. So just go to the end of the line, hold shift, and then press enter, and it will just go to the next line instead of giving you a huge paragraph. Then we can type in phone and put our phone number and bold phone. And I accidentally just press enter, so it give us a very large gap, but I can go back and press shift and enter, and it'll give us no gap. All right, then put in address and you can put in your address and we'll bold address. You could either bold up top or press control B if you're on a PC or command B if you're on a Mac. All right, once we do that, we can click advanced and unlink margin. And for margin, let's do 15. And for the bottom, let's do 15. So give us a little space on the top and bottom. All right, then we can add another element and we're gonna drag in a picture right under all of this. And we can choose our picture, upload files, select files, choose our image, press open, wait for it to upload and insert media. All right, then we can click on style and let's round the edges of the image a little bit. So let's just put in five pixels. And now what we wanna do is add a contact form to the right side, the right column but we have to do another step in order to do that. So we're just gonna press save for now, exit out of there and go to the dashboard. And we'll be adding it right here to the right side. So just click go to dashboard. And what we need is a contact form plugin. And we need this because by default, WordPress doesn't come with a contact form. So we need to add the plugin to enable that functionality. All right, so on the left side, just click on plugins. And then up here, just click add new. And where it says search plugins, we could search for contact form. And contact form seven is the most popular contact form with a million active installs. So we're just gonna click install now. And it's going to install. And then we're gonna click activate. All right, once we do that, we see a new contact button on the left side. Just go ahead and click on it. And below we see this contact form one. Let's just click on that. And there are a whole bunch of options that you can change. You can add different fields and things like that, but we're not gonna mess with that right now. So we could just click on mail and make sure your email is right here. Because if it's not, it's not gonna send to the right email address when someone fills out the form. All right, once you've checked those settings and it looks like it's all good, we can copy this short code up here. So this is the code that we're gonna paste in that will make our contact form show up. So just go ahead and highlight it and copy it. Then we could go to our pages and click on the contact page and edit with Elementor. All right, on the left side over here, if we scroll down, we can see short code. And we could click, hold, and drag into that right column. 
then we could just paste our short code and our contact form will show up. So that's pretty cool. All right, but we need some more space at the top right here because it's a little too close to the map. So let's just click on our contact form, go to advanced and unlink the margin and let's add 15 to the top. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Now we can press save to save our changes and we can exit out of there and view our page and close that tab. And now we have a really cool looking contact page and that is looking pretty awesome. It also works perfectly as a mobile site. If we scrunch this down and refresh, we can see that the columns stack on top of each other and it still looks really awesome. All right, so that's how you make your contact page. I hope you love that.